The second annual 100 Black Men in Suits event took place last Friday, and this year had a slight twist with the elections right around the corner. The event began with a photo shoot on campus and then ended at the polls. This time around, we're not only uh, redoing that fight back of the stereotype, but also to get people to go out to the polls and vote. There were too many unregistered voters that did not vote in 2016, and the ramifications are showing over these last two years. And we want to make sure that at least people go out and vote. It doesn't matter how or for who, it just matters that they go out to vote so that their voices are heard. Friday's event was hosted by Baylor Multicultural Affairs in a group called MISTER, which stands for Males Inspiring Success Through Education and Relationships. So the first one was just kind of a unifying thing. We had noticed that black men just really worked together on campus, and that's what, that was the whole purpose of it. Um, this time it's centered around voting and getting black men to vote and keeping them involved that way. Um, just because we think it's powerful to see the image of black men in suits together going to vote. Two powerful things combining together and a bigger impact. You have to go out to vote because every voice is imperative. It matters. Um, so if every single vote counts, go out and vote, especially this midterm. Dressed in their very best, the group then carpooled and walked into the polls together as a symbol of unity. My main thing that I would love to see for people, people of color do is more events that are centered around just advancing people towards the paths they want in life, whether that's career-wise, whether that's social-wise. I think events have the power to really uh, for people to really see the potential of their actions and to realize that their voice is bigger than just themselves. And so more events like this, more events that really empower people to realize, like, I'm not just an individual. My, my actions can do so much more. For Lariat TV News, I'm Kennedy Dendy.